Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at a model of an area of a circle. We're going to answer the question with the model, where does the area of a circle formula come from? So let's look at this circle first. I am going to label the radius. So right here, that length would be the radius from the center to the edge. And then I am going to trace the circumference of this circle. So that is just around the circle. Now on the next part, I rearranged the pieces of this circle into this shape. And we are going to label the radius from that circle and then we're gonna trace the outline of what, of what made up the circumference. So this distance right here was the radius. And then this is what made up the circumference of the circle, the outside of those little pie pieces. So let's look at this a little bit closer and compare it to a formula that we know about the circle, which is circumference. Um, what shape do we see though with this? I see a parallelogram. I have two parallel sides and I know that this is not perfectly straight, but if we're estimating that looks similar to a parallelogram. And the area for a parallelogram, to find it, you just do the base times the height. The next question says, what part of the circle is equivalent to the height of the rearranged circle? Label it on the figure. So we estimated this to be a parallelogram, which I'll kind of trace out in green. where this would be the height and this would be the base. So it says, what part of the circle is equivalent to the height of the rearranged figure? Well, this right here was the radius of the circle and it's equivalent roughly to the height of the parallelogram. So that the height of the parallelogram is roughly equivalent to the radius of the circle. So this part right here is roughly equivalent to the radius of the circle. Okay, then it said what part of the circle is equivalent to the base of the rearranged circle? Label it on the figure. So remember, this was roughly the base of the parallelogram. And if you notice, it is half of the circumference of the circle because the other part of the circumference of the circle was up top. So this part right here, the base is about half of the circumference of the circle. So the base of the parallelogram is about half of the circumference of the circle. Next question says, what is the formula for the circumference of a circle? How would you find half the circumference of a circle? Use the formula with the radius. So the formula with the radius for circumference of a circle is C equals two pi R. And now they want me to find half of this. So I am going to divide by two. That's how you find half of something. Another way I could write this is one half of the circumference, C divided by two or one half of the circumference is the same thing. And it would equal the two in the two pi R would simplify out when we divide by two. So a half of the circumference is equivalent to pi times the radius. And then the last question says, substitute the parts of the circle in the area formula you wrote down on number three. Use this to determine what the area of a circle formula is. 
So let's actually look at the picture first. Remember the height was roughly equivalent to the radius of the circle and the base was roughly equivalent to half of the circumference, which we just found the formula for that. Remember it was pi r. So to find the area of this parallelogram, remember we would use the formula area equals the base times the height. And the base of this circle is a half of the circumference and the half of the circumference is pi times the radius. So the area would be, instead of base, I'm gonna put pi times the radius because that was half of the circumference, which is equivalent to the base of the parallelogram. And then the height of this parallelogram is equivalent to the radius of the circle. So we would multiply it by a radius again. So that is where the area of a circle formula comes from. The area of a circle formula is A equals pi r squared. And radius times radius is radius squared. So that is one way to model where the area of a circular circle comes from. Pi times the radius times the radius or pi r squared.